Hi guys, this is Dan from the Investment ABC, your guide to financial freedom. And in this video, I want to give you the latest updates and news on TED and what these means for the stock price. Furthermore, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on the cigarettes since I have been finally able to get my hands on the product myself. I'm a non-smoker, but I have tried a cigarette before and it wasn't pleasant as far as I remember. Since it was many years ago when I tried the cigarette, I have also bought a pack of Marlboro to compare them with the Tads. So stay tuned for the review. Let's go first to the news we have received from Ted. And the first news last week was that the company has sold more than 100,000 Canadian dollars during the first weekend after the e-commerce launch. This is really great news since it shows that people are willing to try Ted and see if they like it. If they can keep up this momentum, the company will quickly be able to apply for a NASDAQ listing in my opinion. If we assume conservatively that TED will only sell 30,000 US dollars per day until they increase their brand awareness and marketing, we will achieve in two months time the 2 million US dollars in revenue TED needs to apply for an uplisting. I think the company wants to uplist as quickly as possible and when they do, the company will really start uh, increasing their marketing efforts. If I was SETI, I would definitely wait for uplisting before investing a lot into marketing. Starting the marketing campaign after an uplisting will have the most effect on the share price in my opinion. There is no point to start advertising right now if your budget is small and many investors can't buy the stock. Starting a marketing campaign right after uplisting will give the stock price a nice boost when everyone who hears about TED can also buy the stock. When the stock price increases, TED will offer most likely some more shares at a great price to have enough cash for further expansion. TED has also added a Taste Explorer bundle to their online shop which is a very good idea in my opinion for people who just want to try the product. The latest news is that TED is partnering up with Christina Lake, ticker CLC, to bring TED to Canada very soon. Christina Lake will develop and distribute TED for the Canadian market, which is very cool for TED since it doesn't need to do much. CLC will do all the work in Canada to produce Beyond Tobacco locally and TED will cash in some royalties. The news says, quote, the MOU grants CLC exclusive rights to develop and distribute TED in Canada for a two-year renewable term and provides for budgets, schedules and contributions of both parties for each stage of product development to be agreed upon by way of written agreements to set out specific stipulations for each stage. TED needs Christina Lake since only companies that are licensed through Health Canada can distribute hemp products in Canada. TED will most likely be sold through online channels, but I'm not sure if it is allowed to sell them also in convenience stores like in many states of the US or not. But even if not, for TED, this partnership seems to be like a very good deal. Furthermore, TED doesn't need to worry about CLC stealing their formula since the CEO of CLC, Joel Dumares, is also the CFO of TED. TED is really progressing quickly and there are only a couple of steps left in my opinion before the stock price will blow up to the upside. One of the things which I mentioned before is an uplisting. Furthermore, TED needs to raise more cash for its expansion and marketing efforts. Once they have raised more cash, the company will announce a further increase in production. In an interview, Joe Deegan mentioned TED wants to be able to ship 300 pallets per month soon from currently 40 pallets per month, which will be an increase of 750% from current levels. 300 pallets would equal 427,510 pack cartons per month and revenue of 17.1 million US dollar at a price of $4 per pack. Obviously, a portion of the revenue goes to the retailers, but even if TED will generate $9 million in revenue per month, it will be around $102 million um, in revenue per year. Furthermore, TED is charging more than $4 per pack in other states, unlike in Ohio. I think the next few months are going to be very interesting with TED. Joe Deegan also told us that they might expand this year into Europe with a different version of Beyond Tobacco specifically created for the taste of European smokers. 
Dr. Orsa is working on this project, which is a very hard thing to accomplish, according to Joe. I think TED has a lot of room to grow all over the world soon, and the potential is going to be very huge. Like I said in the beginning, I finally got my pack of TED thanks to Myrna. A big shout out to her again and her efforts for us TED investors. I'm a non-smoker, but obviously tried them for myself, and to be honest, for me, the TEDs were 100% identical to a normal cigarette. Not like 99%, but really 100%. But this might be due to not inhaling the smoke properly. The Marlboro tasted for me a little bit stronger and actually I enjoyed the Tads more than the Marlboro. Out of all three um, Tad uh, varieties, I enjoyed the menthol cigarette the most. Even if I'm a non-smoker, I could see myself smoking the menthols with smoker friends just for socializing and hanging around. What I have also realized for myself is that the smoke of the TED doesn't give me a headache like with normal cigarettes. I can't stand the smoke of normal cigarettes, but the smoke of the TEDs are somehow not that strong. For me, the smoke didn't smell like MJ, but more like a normal cigarette in a lighter version. Furthermore, the smoke isn't sticking on your clothes as much as with the real cigarette, which was a huge plus for me since I hate the cold smell of smoke on my clothes. Every time I hang around with smoker friends, I have to throw all my clothes into the washing machine, which wasn't the case with Ted at all. What I didn't like though was the smell on my fingers after smoking a couple of cigarettes. Since the Ted's were smelling like chocolate in the beginning before lighting them on, you also have that chocolatey smell on the fingers. For me, I was positively surprised overall and I really liked the product. On the other hand, my wife hated the smell of Ted's smoke and she said it is a disgusting smell. I was a little confused so I asked also my sister but she on the other hand said that the smoke smells like a normal cigarette. Only if you enter the room it smells a little bit different. I also gave the original smokes to some smoker friends and three of them didn't like them. One really liked it but he preferred the smooth more. The three friends of mine said that you still have an aftertaste or a taste of hemp in the originals when you inhale them. I will look for more test subjects to ask and see how they like it. In my opinion, what I have realized is that human beings are totally different and everyone has a different taste and sense of smell. Like Sadie said, Ted only needs 1 in 200 smokers to convert to Ted and I think they will definitely have more than that. Furthermore, what I have realized is that CBD has a calming effect on people. On that day, when I have smoked the Tads, I had to go earlier to bed than usual and I really had an awesome sleep, one of the best sleep in a long time. In my opinion, there will be a lot of people who will buy Ted just because of the CBD and the plus point of that is that Ted CBD cigarettes are way tastier than other cigarettes and cheaper. Furthermore, we have many reviews of TED smokers who smoke TED for a longer period of time now and who were able to get rid of their nicotine addiction. In my opinion, TED is the perfect product for people who really want to quit smoking. For those people, TED will be a great tool and these people will also stick with TED for a long period of time to also overcome the psychological addiction. Furthermore, it gives smokers the ability to be in control and not under the influence of nicotine. I would be really surprised if TED won't be a success. So let's go TED! If you like this video, hit the like button to support the channel, share, comment and subscribe for more early stock picks like TED. Furthermore, join our Patreon to get access to instant buy and sell alerts and exclusive content. Here is also a list of stocks that I have bought in the past. My two favorite stocks for the next couple of years are TED and Humicide. Both great and in my opinion potentially life-changing stocks. Bye guys and see you in the next one.